Hi, I'm Fabio from QNS. I got an award for my research during my postdoc um, about the magnetic properties of atoms on surfaces. Yeah, this specific prize is uh, something uh, related to a research I did in, when I did my postdoc in Switzerland. Thanks. Well, the discovery related to this prize um, is essentially the last piece of a puzzle of a long-standing research started uh, about 15 years ago. So the main idea of this research was to find a way to store information in single atoms. Present technology uses magnetic materials, normally clusters of uh, about 10 to 100,000 atoms, to store the information of a single bit. Now, if you want to increase the amount of information without increasing the size of your device, you need to reduce the size of your bit. So ultimately, the research is now trying to hit the ultimate limit for the bit size. And this is, of course, the size of an atom. The key element of the research is to place atom on surfaces and exploit their mutual interaction to keep the atom in the desired magnetic state as long as possible. And surfaces interact with the atom in a more ideal way so at that time uh, the race was uh, uh, to find the best combination between atom and surfaces that could allow us to reach our goal so to store information in a single atom. Right in the middle of this competition uh, I finished my PhD and I was looking for a job and it happened to me that I had an interview with uh, my soon-to-be future boss uh, Harald Brunner and he was proposing me the project of finding a way to store information in single atoms. So at the time, in my mind, I was thinking, it's never gonna happen. But of course I said uh, I wanted a job, so I said, yes, of course, I'm accepting the project. <laughs> Our research group uh, was uh, trying to find the best material, trying several combinations between atoms and surfaces. For example, we tried many transitional metal atoms on fancy surfaces like metals or graphene, for example, but none of them was showing the suitable property we were, we were looking for. So, failure after failure, I was getting convinced that really this project was not gonna work. Meanwhile, other groups were working on finding a perfect material for this and uh, my current director, Andreas Eirich, was working on magnesium oxide surfaces and they were measuring interesting properties uh, of atoms on these surfaces, yet not getting to the goal. And uh, another group in Karlsruhe in Germany, uh, Professor Wulfulfecker, they measure, they propose to use uh, uh, magnetic ray arts as uh, the key element to store information. So we picked these two ideas and we combined them in, uh, in a specific system and this worked. The way we were doing our research uh, was uh, by using x-rays generated by a specific large facility called Synchrotron. In this facility, a team of people worked in the day and the other team worked in the night for a certain amount of time, for example, one week. So what was happening at the time is uh, I was in the, day, in the day shift and uh, after a horrible day where we didn't measure anything, I went to bed and, and then it was the time for the night shift to work when I came back in the morning, I saw the result on the screen and I said, it can't be. So day after day, experiment after experiment, we could get more and more convinced about the result we found. So that these atoms, especially holmium atoms on the magnesium oxide surface, they could really preserve their magnetic state uh, for thousands of seconds. And that at the time was a breakthrough. Because of the relevance of our results, we managed to publish our research in Science, which is one of the major journals in science. Because of that, me and my colleagues, we got uh, invited to many conferences and uh, gave seminars to institutions. And actually, because of that, I got a job here at QNS as a group leader. And also, this is the reason why I got the Max Alverter Award from the Austrian Physical Society. Thank you very much. Uh, well, it's of course a, a research that has been done by many people, so I totally have to share uh, the congratulations with all my colleagues. In particular, I want to thank uh, uh, Stefano Rusponi because he was really my mentor during all these experiments and the two group leaders that led the research, uh, Professor Harald Brune and Professor Pietro Gambardella and all the other people who worked on the project.